Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, we're going to take some inspiration from Kanye West's All of the Lights music video and learn how to create that neon strobe flashing effect. So, warning if you have seizures or anything like that, this is a very bright and fast moving strobe. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my new videos, and leave a like on it below if you guys have been enjoying these videos. Also, you guys can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho, like Instagram and Twitter, if you want to reach out to me. So to begin, I've got this clip dragged on the timeline, and I'm also going to create that outlined text effect. So if you've updated to the new version of Premiere Pro, you should see this type tool right in your toolbar, and you can use the essential graphics panel to create the text. If you don't see this panel, you can always go to window and check it on here so it's visible and drag it on the side. I'm just using the default workspace. So working in the program window, you should see the text cursor appear and I'll click and type out my words or letters. Keep in mind the original music video has some really awesome hand done animation and typography with a lot of variety in it, but we're just going to stick with one basic font. I'm using Futura Medium and you can highlight it to adjust the size and go over to the essential graphics panel and you can center it if you prefer and also adjust the scale and other things about it here. Now to get the outline effect, I'm going to turn off the white fill and I'm going to turn on the white stroke. So I'm using just about four pixels of stroke width, but you can use whatever you prefer. So now that we've built our outline text, let's create that multicolor flashing strobe. So head over to the effects panel and search for one called strobe light. If you click and drag this on the clip, you should see it pop up in the effect controls panel and there's a handful of different parameters that we can adjust. So we're going to start by checking the keyframe stopwatch icon on the strobe color portion. Here we can adjust the actual color of the strobe and this is how we're going to make it go from red, green, blue, orange back and forth. So I'm going to make sure I'm pretty zoomed in so I can see what's going on and I'm going to arrow one frame over on the timeline by using the right arrow key on the keyboard and I'll click on the color block and I'll change it to red. Now we'll arrow one frame over again and let's change it to a different color, something like purple. Now we'll do it again and we'll just go until we pick about five different bright colors. So red, green, blue, orange, and then let's do one more. Okay, so I've got six different colors and they're all one frame after each other. And now I wanna duplicate all of these keyframes. So what I'm gonna do is just select all of these, press Command C, you could always right click and copy as well, and then move over to the very last keyframe using this arrow Go one over and press Command V. Now we've got a duplication and then I'll just do the same thing. I'll copy, I'll move my cursor over and I'll use the previous arrow keyframe to get right back on the last one and I can press Command V. So due to the power of exponential growth, I'm only gonna have to do this a couple times and we should reach the end of however long we want the strobe effect to last. So I've got it going for this whole five seconds and we can use this as a preset to copy and paste at all times. But we've still got a few more adjustments to make because although it's flashing, there's still that white period and that's the strobe duration. That means it's only gonna last for half a second every one second. So in the case of this effect, we really don't want it to flip back onto the original clip very often. So you could even do zero and it'll just completely never flicker off. It'll always just be rotating through the strobe colors. Or if you wanna see the original clip sometimes, you could do 0.1 and then one tenth of every second will be the original clip. Also, one key adjustment you should make is turn the strobe operator to multiply. It only works right now on this white clip because the clip is white, but once we go over to this video clip, we're gonna want it to be on multiply. So now that we've got the effect built on the text, I'll show you how to do it on a video clip as well. So in the original music video, there's a black and white effect that's applied onto the clip. So there's tons of different ways that you can make black and white. But for the sake of ease, I'll just search for the black white effect in the image control folder, drag it onto the clip. And if you want, you can go into the Lumetri color panel, adjust some basic correction like exposure, contrast. And in the original, there was a bit of noise and grain, which my clip already has, but you could also go into the effects panel and search for noise if you wanted to artificially add some of that noise and grain into the clip. Now we simply have to go back to our original strobe search for the strobe light effect in the effects control, press command C after we have it highlighted, and then click on our new clip, press command V, and it'll paste that effect right into the effects control for the clip. But you see the keyframes don't last as long as the original since this clip is a little bit longer, in which case you could always just do a little bit of copy and pasting to make it last as long as you need. At this point, you could also right click on the strobe, save it as a preset, 
and you could use anchor to endpoint to keep the keyframes aligned. Press OK and when you go into your effects control panel, you should find it in the presets folder as whatever you named it that you can go back to clips in the future, click and just drag that on and it'll automatically have all those keyframes applied. But again, it'll only have this amount of keyframes so you might have to do some extending for longer clips. So be careful, it is a very powerful seizure inducing effect. However, it can look really cool for text titles and you see how it was applied in a really neat way for Kanye West's All of the Lights music video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and definitely subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new future videos. I look forward to connecting with you guys more on social media. So go follow me on Instagram for live streams, behind the scenes and all that. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.